Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this. What is this? Well, this is a, sort of a desk conversation piece I decided to whip up and then also share how to use the uh, offset command to create a silhouette in OpenSCAD. So what we did is we took the polygon code from a previous episode that we did, uh, took an uh, image from the internet uh, of a rocket and converted it to a 2D polygon code. Then what we did up here, since it's 2D, we linearly extruded that. I think I'll spit that out. It's a little bit early in the morning. And then what we did from there is we took linear extruded another version of it. However, here, as you can see, we use offset and then we use delta. So we matched the corners exactly. And then delta equals silhouette. And silhouette is the amount of gap that we want to leave. And we performed that on module rocket or rocket module. So this is one of the things, kind of tip number one, is I like to embed my polygon data into a module. So therefore, I can just work on that module and call it as many times as I want. Now, the second thing is, is I like to set up, um, you know, my offsets like this. And I like delta. So there, there's, uh, del there's delta and there's R for rounded. So there's several different options for your offset command. Since I wanted this to match, I used delta because this is uh, this is pretty close to a one-to-one -one offset. So this worked out pretty good. So um, what we did is we then created the object. Now up here, what I decided to do was put some holes in it because um, what you'll see in a future episode is this came, kind of became a three-dimensional piece of mechanical art. Now there wasn't a lot of ability to place the holes parametrically. So these aren't parametric. They're just kind of... Uh, placed where I wanted to and matched, you know, kind of like for like between the fin holes and the center holes and the top hole. Uh, so these you can do as you want. Now, you this doesn't have to be a rocket. You can take any type of, of polygon code and put it in here and do the exact same thing. So if I was to replace this, say, for example, with my turkey polygon code, um, what would happen is I would come up with the silhouette of a turkey. And, and so, uh, again, this is very useful uh, and I love working with polygon data because it gives me a lot of flexibility. Um, so outside of that it's pretty straightforward so I did create a little bit of parametricness goodness here if you will for the object itself but again this, the screw holes I, I didn't want to get too fancy and try to you know make them into something parametric because I would have to guess to do, do that would have to read the polygon data and that would just uh, got a little over the top. Maybe in a future episode or something I'll try to sort that out. Uh, but for now, I uh, just kind of wanted to share this with you and kind of focus on uh, the goodness of the offset command and what you can do with polygons and that kind of stuff. So uh, tell you what, let's see how this all comes together. So we're going to head over, take a look at the time lapse of this printing, and then we're going to come back to the bench and take a look at the end product. So I'll see you over there. <music> Welcome back. So, uh, in the last piece, we took a look at uh, these inside the computer, how we whipped them up in OpenSCAD. Then we took a look at them printing, and now here they are. So, I've printed out several, and I'm going to use these in another project on the DIY3DTech.com channel. If you're not subscribed to that channel, I'd also suggest checking it out. Um, however, I did want to show this, how nice that this came out, utilizing the offset. So, we have the... Uh, you know, in short, uh, a basic silhouette of the rocket shape. So the neat thing about this is you can do this with roughly just about any shape and then insert the um, holes where you need them and then you can join them up. So uh, anyways, if you want to see what this becomes, you'll have to check it out on the DIY 3D channel in the uh, coming weeks I'll have an episode on these, but again, just wanted to share this. So hopefully you found these tips and tricks using the offset command helpful. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Also, the subscribe button will be coming up over here. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers.